Okay, well, hey guys, it's Landon Mendoza here, and I am not in my usual setup, as you can tell. And that's because I just want to do something a little bit more personal, because I'm going to be talking about something that is a little bit personal to me. And that is because around a year ago, today, or around this time a year ago, I would have basically released a EP under my name. And it is kind of crazy, because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't even know that I make music or write music or anything like that. So I just wanted this to be a really like stripped down version of my usual videos because I did record a video like this explaining um, the EP and stuff but I just didn't like how I explained it at all. So I just wanted to do a very intimate and personal thing with you guys with hopefully little to no editing. And um, yeah, so basically I'm just talking about this. EP or this CD which don't worry this isn't a real CD it's just basically like a mock-up CD that I did because I don't know a lot of things were different a year and um, you know there's like the CD and stuff so and this is a different thing but there's the back of the booklet and uh yeah so around a year ago my life was very different um I was in a different place as in like I wasn't in this apartment um, I just was basically in a different mindset. I was starting to rediscover music and um, that I haven't listened to in a long time. And I was kind of getting over this kind of relationship that I had. I say kind of because it wasn't really a relationship, but it kind of was. But I'll explain more of that in a bit. But yeah, I just wanted to do this thing very personal. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it and um, at least watch some of it or if I do become famous later on I can you know look back on this very fondly or cringily or whatever but anyways let's begin so um I guess I can explain um a little bit of why I decided to make a or at least pursue to make a real EP or collection of songs really and that's just mostly because it's something that I've always wanted to do like, I think literally 2010 was like the, I re remember like making my very first song and it's funny because I wrote two songs at the same time and one of them was called It's My Night and that was definitely, the lyrics and the mentality of that song is very outdated. Um, but there's a second song on there called This Ain't So Glad which I still think can hold up on its own and um, I imagine it in my head as a duet but we'll see how that goes but I definitely think that that song and then all the other songs that I've made throughout the years like the past 10 years can hold up and I can I technically have like well like 30 40 songs that I've written some of them are pretty bad but some of them are I think like I don't know I just love creating songs and writing lyrics like it just brings something in me creatively creatively that um, I think I can excel in and I honestly love it and I can kind of sing not the, I'm not the best singer and I can kind of play the piano I used to know how to play the piano really well um, because I was taught essentially ever since I was a wee lad but um, yeah and then I also got my guitar around a year ago which kind of influenced me to make certain songs on this EP, which I'll explain more about later as well. Um, and yeah, so this song, or this EP is basically like folk pop, which um, also, is one of the main reasons why it's folk pop is because I kind of rediscovered the Red Album by Taylor Swift and the Flickr Album by Nile Horan, and those are definitely similar sounding and it was around like fall time so that's why I kind of was listening to those CDs and then that kind of influenced me and heck like I like if you can see and you guys are going to see some like photo shoots and stuff I'm wearing a hat I was that was my hat era last year I wore it everywhere not just in these pictures but just like everywhere and it was really interesting and really funny and there are jets flying over again if you can't hear but it, it was just really interesting just for me to actually pursue something and to actually I don't know because like usually the songs that I make are mostly pop but this was like more like acoustic -y and it was basically like something that 
I could do at the time and the only thing that I could really do at the time because I don't have a studio I wish I did I could I probably would have made so many songs and so many things right now but I don't have the materials and the materials cost money and even if I don't have the materials and I can use what I have like GarageBand that it's just a mess but um yeah so uh yeah so I guess I can maybe talk about the songs on here which there are four songs on the back of this um, book CD booklet thing. Um, first one's Nothing Better To Do, the second one is The Tide, third is Going Going Gone, and four is A New. And um, I think I kind of made this before I kind of finalized the actual EP, so there are technically five songs that would have been on this EP, and it's in a different order than what is listed here, so just bear with me on that. Um, the fifth song would have been called uh, The Little Things or just Little Things um, and it's a very cute very simple song that I wrote basically just it basically just describes my favorite things because I was just really going through a tough time and I just kind of want to remind myself of all the things that make me happy and you know it's the little things that count so I just basically just listed off a few things that you know like an autumn breeze, you know, listening to music, um, just hanging with my friends and my family, that kind of stuff. So that was a really uh, cute song that I, that is technically on here, but I didn't put it for some reason on here because I think I wrote it like after I actually made this and I was like, dang it, this still goes with the era, so it's still part of it. So anyways, let me get through this. Um, I'll try not to take too much of your time. So here's the cover. Um, fun fact, my sister um, took all these pictures, just me and her, we went to, I don't know, like, you can see, like, it's definitely very, like, um, what is it, country-like and very fieldy, but fun fact, this was shot uh, on Lackland Air Force Base, yes, like an Air Force Base, like a military base, because um, I'm in the military and she's in the military too, so we decided, you know, just to, um, and she likes taking, she knows that I like when she takes pictures of me, like even when I go home before she joined in the military, she always was the person that I would ask to take my pictures. Um, so her to do this, for her to do this would, is pretty awesome. So thanks to my sister for doing this. But anyway, so um, here's the front cover or the, the first page, which is basically a new, which is the title of the EP. And then it has like, um, it's like, uh, definition of it and it's an adverb and is in a new or different form um, which is kind of cheesy and stuff but let me just read what I have here on the front page while in the process of writing and producing this EP I did not know what I was going to call it there were a few names of different songs that could have worked but in the end they did not fit with what I wanted to portray for the overall feeling and theme of this EP also, around this time, I was going through a really tough last few weeks of a relationship. It was definitely something that I did expect, but it still hurt when it finally ended. And I mean, it hurt bad. So what did I do to cope? Write down what I was feeling, of course. A little time passed, and all this eventually led to me writing about moving on from this person, trying to start anew. And that's when I knew what I wanted to name this EP. I hope that when you listen to all the songs on here, you realize that although things may seem rough and hopeless, the world has so much to offer, and yes, it may be hard to move on, but when you finally do, your life will finally begin anew. And then I signed it and stuff, and it says Landon Mendoza, and it, I don't know, like, it definitely does speak for itself, like I was getting over someone, and that's kind of the main reason why I wrote a lot of these songs, um, and just this overall thing. I, just, I was just really motivated by a lot of things, and me listening to, you know, Red and Flickr, those are emotional albums, so that kind of just, and lyrically, I think they're some of the best albums lyrically as well, so it kind of like pushed me to see um, how far and how well I could write a few of these songs, so um, yeah. So the first one is called Going Going Gone. I'm not gonna zoom in on it because you know I haven't really like released it. And I don't want anyone to steal my songs because you know that would be mean. Um, but yeah, it's Going Going Gone here. The lyrics, um, and it's basically 
a song about moving on from someone, just realizing they weren't good for you, and you did have fun times, but they are better off gone, out of your mind, out of sight, out of mind. And it's just a really upbeat song. I remember the chorus came to me first, I believe. And then I just recorded it on my voice notes, which I do with a majority, if not all the songs that I do, is just put on voice notes. And it's definitely in chunks. Um, but I feel like this was like a pretty easy song to do. Like, I think I wrote it in one night because I think it was before right before or right after I was gonna take a shower I think it was right before I was gonna take a shower um I thought of the chorus I said it in my voice notes I took a shower finished the shower and then I finished the song and yeah that was all in like one one night and it's absolutely crazy but I absolutely love it it's definitely upbeat I feel like if I were to actually release a real album this would be the debut or like the the lead single for it I have very good faith in the song. It's definitely a beat. It's just fun. Um, I can play a little bit of it on the guitar. Um, I don't know if you guys would want to hear it or something. But uh, I don't know. I'll just... I don't know. We'll see what I do right now. So, um... Nope. I just really enjoy singing and I, like I don't know like every time I imagine myself performing it and just when it comes to the bridge and then like the final chorus like I don't know it just gives me chills because I don't know but like you can tell I'm really bad at playing it like I said I only got a year ago and I haven't really been like practicing and I don't have anyone here that can help me practice so I don't know anyways um Next one is Nothing Better To Do, which there's like the single artwork for it and there's the lyrics and stuff. And it's funny because this was the first song that I wrote out of all the songs that I included on this EP. This was the first song that I wrote. And it's funny because the whole reason why I wrote the song was because um, technically on the day that I upload this, which is I think like a like Sunday, October, um, something. The next day from when I upload this would be a year ago from that day would be the day that I went to a pumpkin patch with my friends and we just hung out and we had a good time and that was also the evening that I debuted this song. I wanted to write a song because um, we were going to have a campfire and eat marshmallows and s'mores and stuff and it was going to be pretty chill. And I was like, okay, maybe I can write a song because I was still, I was really, that was really motivating to me. Just like actually perform a song. That's something real artists do and stuff. And even though like I was super like nervous and stuff to actually perform it that night, you know, carrying the guitar from my car all the way to the campsite or not campsite, but like the bonfire site, which was quite far as in like there were a lot of people around. They were looking at me weird and I was like, you know, screw it. You know, if, People do this all the time, and I have motivation, and I sung it, and it was a really good time. I kind of included some clips of it on um, my um, my fall lookbook that I uploaded a little bit ago, so I'm pretty sure if you go to my channel and go back to my fall lookbook towards the end of it, you can definitely tell that, or you can see that I'm performing something. There's no audio from it. But you can definitely tell I'm performing it. I was really nervous, but it was a good time. And I think personally, Nothing Better To Do is my favorite song that I've ever written lyrically. Because it's it's a sweet song. It's such a sweet song. Um, it takes heavy influence from Treacherous by Taylor Swift. Um, I can, I'll can i say that right now because it's definitely based on it. Um, it's kind of different, but it's it takes a good influence from it because I just love that song so much. But Nothing Better To Do is... The first real love song that I've wrote that I wrote ever in my life, and I did write love songs before. Nothing better to do, 
but this was the first one that I was like, I like, I, I enjoy like singing it. Like it's not something that I manufactured that you can definitely tell that. Like technically I can write anything, rhyme words with words, but to actually make it mean something to me personally and for me to actually have motivation to like sing it and to not get sick of it easily, like that's something that I struggled with, especially with love songs because I've never really been in love so I've never really written a love song for anyone and the funny thing is that I technically didn't write this song for anyone it was just basically out of my mind and just I guess the love of or what kind of love that I would want so this is more very urban or er, not urban but very folky um it's just super sweet the chorus is I don't know I just love the images that I portray through this song because it's mostly just like driving up this mountain road and evergreen trees during the fall time and just hanging with someone and there's this plot twist during the bridge and I absolutely love this song so much. I could go on and on about this song um, and I might play it one day. I don't know, this would be my first, technically I did perform it so that was the first time performing ever so this would be like my, my first promotional single I guess which is kind of cool. Then here's just like some pictures and stuff with like I don't know I kind of love like the editing stuff the aesthetic of this entire album this entire era which is kind of like it was influenced from the red album as well but it's 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 unique because it has like doodles but it's also kind of modern um and very like like country at the same time I don't know Anyway, so there's um, this, which I can actually show because it is called The Tide, but it is a, a cover from Niall Horan from the Flickr album, but it's only on the deluxe edition. But I just love the song, absolutely. Like, I vibe with it so much. The beats, the drums, just the power of that song. I absolutely love it, especially when he performs it live. And I feel like if I were to ever go on tour, for this EP, if I ever did release it, The Tide would have been the first song that I play at my shows. Um, and I don't know, I just love the lyrics, you know, don't let the tide come and wash us away. Don't let the tide come and take me. It's very simple, it's kind of repetitive, but I just love the song and that, the power that it holds so much. And then that goes into a new, which is the title track of this EP, which fun fact again is that I don't really like vibe with this song. Like, I like the song, I like all the songs that I make, but it's just like this song was made because I did not know what I wanted to name the album, and I wanted to name the album after a song, but I also wanted it to be symbolic. So, I, I don't even know how I came up with the word anew. But I just came up with the word and then I just wrote a song around that which is this is technically the most personal song because it has the most personal lyrics. Um, for example, the very first um, lines of the song are of September 29th through the long hours of the night from the dim glow of her phones we finally ended this fight. So it, 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 it's, there's some dates, there's like, there's no names or anything, but it's very like direct at a person. Like a lot of Taylor Swift songs are, They're, or her older songs are directed towards a certain person. And um, it takes time to heal and it takes time to help. It takes time to apologize to myself. And once again, I'll start in you, or from the, this pain I learned and grew. And once again, I'll start in you. It's uh, it's a very feel good song and I like it in that aspect but I just I feel like if I were to actually make a real like EP this would not be part of it at all. <laughs> um but yeah. And then this is like the end of it but again like I said there would have been a song called The Little Things which is basically like I said stuff that makes me happy. You know, it's a little things that count, you know. I, I just really like that song a lot. Um, and then basically just like some of the lyrics from Anew. 
and then some closing remarks from me, which basically I'm gonna read it. It says, thank you. This record is dedicated to everyone who has helped and supported me to get to where I am right now. To my family and friends for being so supportive, even though my family kinda knew about it, kinda didn't know about it, and my friends kinda knew about it, kinda didn't know about it at the same time. To my sister for taking the pics featured here, to Jasmine for encouraging me to pursue this start in my career and also helping me get my first guitar. And Jasmine, um, she was my quote unquote manager. She was also another factor, motivator to help me like pursue this music career that I wanted. Um, and she also pursued a music career um, we kind of have a song together, a Christmas song together that we released last year that's so bad. It's called Holidays. I'm pretty sure if you look up my name on iTunes, um, or Jazzy Nicole, you'll see, and it's literally called Holidays. It's so bad. But that's technically my first song on iTunes. <laughs> but, um, and of course I bought it, because, you know, obviously. But um, yeah, so helped me get through to get my first guitar. She did help me get my first guitar and she kind of started to like teach me how to play guitar and a few chords. Um, and to the ones I have loved and lost who indirectly helped me make this record. Shade. Um, this is just the beginning. Underlined. Because technically, focus. It's underlined. Because I don't know. It was the beginning, but I don't know if it's still continuing. Um, it is about time we all start anew, don't you think? Landon. And yeah, that's the back of the cover. I did this cult, because there's like this promotional photo shoot, or there's this like photo from the Red Album, from the Red Era of Taylor holding up the, actually, it's right here. I have it framed, don't judge me. But it's this picture of Taylor holding the guitar like that. And I actually really love that picture. And I was like, to my sister, I was like, I should totally do that with that guitar. And I did do it, and that was pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, so, and this is um, the CD, which is obviously not a real CD, obviously. But this is what it would be influenced like, or with the era, the theme of it. Why don't it fo yeah, there. And again, it, and it has like some credit stuff. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it does have some stuff from a made-up label, um, made-up things. I didn't really know what the heck to put on this, but um, yeah, that is pretty much it. And I don't know, this is definitely, in a way, a time capsule. And I can understand like why artists, like when they, when they um, release an album, they're like, that represents that part of their life. Because it definitely, I'm not that same person anymore. Um, the person that I technically wrote this about I made amends with them. I'm friends, or not friends with them, but I I don't hate them anymore, and they don't hate me, and we're mutuals now, which is good. Um, and I don't, I love folk pop. I still listen to folk pop slash country, but that's not like the main like my that's not me anymore. Like to put into perspective, there are a few songs that I wrote at the beginning of this year that um are '80s influence, like '80s slash synths. Um, influence and it's called one of them's called Fairweather another one's called you can't vibe with me and that one's very upbeat and disco -y. Uh Fairweather is kind of like a more like an 80 like really like slower 80s um, power ballad in a way uh, Fairweather is kind of like a more sad song and then there's another song called distraction which basically I think of myself as a distraction and it's technically right here. Wow, this was technically my second EP that I just printed it off, I made it. I like to make things. Um, there's even a little barcode, I'm so stupid, but uh, yeah. So it's right here, and you can actually see that there's a track listing. Yep, fair weather distraction. Nothing better to do, and this ain't so glad. Which, I don't know why I didn't include You Can Vibe With Me. I think I did it after I made this. Um, but yeah, you can definitely tell that I really want nothing better to do to be on whatever album that I put out. 
officially like I definitely want that to be part of it because I really feel like even though it may not be a, a real single it definitely holds a special place in my heart and I really want that song to be it's kind of like for example like in Katie's debut album one of the boys she had I, thinking of you and that was like one of the first songs that she wrote on the guitar and it really held, held a special place in her heart and she did include it on the first um, her first record deal album and that was supposed to be the first single technically um, I'm glad it wasn't because you know I guess the girl kind of cemented her career but yeah it's just the same mentality as that so hopefully one day I can just release all these songs um, I don't know like lately the past few weeks the past few months I've had a drive and like I want to make songs and I know that I have a lot of songs that are in my mind I just don't have the motivation or the influence. I don't know how it sounds. I, I don't know. I just lost that spark and I'm kind of afraid that that was only reminiscent of that time. Like that was like the peak of my career and I didn't even have a career. So hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully I can actually make an EP or an album one day under the name Lana Mendoza or whatever. Um, I don't think that's ever gonna happen, especially with me being in the military and all, and then me probably re-enlisting, and then, like, I'm already 23, and by the time I get out, I'll probably be in my late 20s, and I don't really think that there are much artists that start in their late 20s. They're either in their, like, late teens or early 20s. So maybe that's just something I have to give up, even though I don't want to give it up at all. I mean, and like also like I could do it as a side thing right now, but again, I don't have the knowledge. I don't, I, I can't play bass. I can't do guitars or play guitar, like a regular guitar properly. I can't even play the piano properly. So I'm just like, I need people and I need the help. I need a recording studio. Like I know I don't need an official recording studio, but I at least, at least need a decent mic or something. So if you guys have anything or if you are a music producer, you kind of want to work with someone that doesn't have a lot to give. Um, I, please, I would really like that. And I don't know. I don't know what else I'm going to talk about. That's pretty much it. I just want to basically just, again, around a year ago, what have been the release of this if I actually really put in the time and the effort for it. Um, but yeah, it's, this holds a really special place in my heart and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I wasn't going to make this video again because I was frustrated with my first one that I made, which I didn't like at all. Hopefully this was a little bit more better, a little bit more intimate. Um, and we'll just see how my music career goes. Um, I don't think it'll go anywhere, honestly. But I also don't want to have any regrets in my life, so hopefully I can do something with it. Um, and I have so many more songs. I have so many songs that I've already made that I love and I want to be released. Um, but that's just for another day. But anyways, thank you guys so much for um, watching this far. If you made it this far, I doubt it. Um, the battery is going to die. So you guys can follow me on my socials, which will be listed down below. And um, watch my other videos. Like, subscribe. Um, I'm also not having any motivation to do any like real videos so on this channel which kind of sucks Hopefully I can have I don't know why I just don't have any more motivation to do anything lately um, But we'll see how that goes anyways, so thank you guys for um, talk or not talking for watching And I'll see you guys in the next video and until the next video the wonder won't stop and also My first album would be called wonder if Sean didn't already like like I came up with that name like 10 years ago that was going to be my debut album. The title was going to be called Wonder. But, you know, we'll see how that goes. And I have a song called Wonder. Anyways, until the next video, the Wonder Woman Stop. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.